my lovelies how are you uh i hope you're okay hope everybody is well um we're gonna do some knitting tonight you're gonna have to excuse uh the noise because my utility room is just there and i forgot i put a wash on i didn't forget i was doing the live but i didn't realize the timings and i put a wash on when i got in from work and then i was just like oh that might start spinning halfway through the live so if it gets noisy you're just gonna have to ignore it because I can't stop it mid-spin. <laughs> but hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. <laughs> but I need I need to get some washing done because um, I've got a treat in like two days and I need I need some pants, frankly. <laughs> How are you? I hope you're okay. Hope everyone is well. Um, what are we doing? We're gonna do some knitting tonight, which is something we haven't done for a really long time. But um, this is a really really lovely way of using up. Again, I'm on the scrap thing, using up all those bits and pieces um using up some little tiny tiny little bits of yarn that you might have left that is just too pretty to throw away but you don't know what to do with so that's what we're going to do tonight um so i will freely admit i'm very sorry i was supposed to pull the challenge post today and i've left it at the shop i have done it and i left it at the shop when i left because i had to go to the doctors they get a prescription for my youngest blah 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 I completely forgot so um i will make i will make sure sarah does it at one o'clock tomorrow okay i promise promise it's ready to go I just got to pick it up um, I didn't get a chance to sort the sale thing out either we so we were just so busy today um, but I'm gonna do that when I get offline and there will be something happening over the weekend I promise all right for those of you who are not coming on the retreat or maybe those of you who are coming on the retreat you can just go online and do it anyway it's crazy trying to get trying to organize double retreats like normally it's quite a lot of work to get like everything done for one but we've had to double it <laughs> So yeah, a little bit loopy today in the shop. Um, and uh, Sarah's had a haircut as well. So she's got a new do, which you'll see tomorrow. Looks very swish, very, very swish. Really suits her. Um, so let's say hello to some people before we get started and show you these bits. Hi, Lindy Lou. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Melba. Hi, Patricia. Hello, lovelies. So um, so yeah, for those of you who, who don't knit, this, hi, Claire. This might not interest you, but then it might get you to do a little bit of knitting you never know I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying the knitting again at the moment I haven't knitted for years and well I've knitted but not very much I tend to crochet but um I've been enjoying getting the needles back out the last few weeks definitely so let's get crack on with it uh over here hopefully so we're going to do some of these little knitted baubles and I am loving them I think they are going to look super super cute on my tree and you need, oh, and I need a little Father Christmas one with his belt, little fat belly, bowl full of, be bowl full of jelly. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm in a really silly mood tonight. <laughs> Hi, Leslie, how are you? Um, but they use a teeny tiny amount of wool. They really do. Um, you will need, so you will need some baubles. Okay, I bought a pack of, well, I've dropped the camera right down so that hopefully you'll be able to see my hand so it, and it's quite low I haven't got much space to work in I bought a pack I think with 12 in there and they were like 199 for 12 they are cheapy cheapy plastic baubles I think if I bought them again I might try and get the ones that have got the smaller you know on baubles these are quite a wide bit here um, but I might try and get the smaller ones. These I bought um, from B&M, cheap and cheerful, because they were only one ninety nine, and they were. Oh, what size were they? Hang on, let me find. I wrote it down. Hang on, what size were they? Um, um, let me see. Where's my notes on my phone? Put a note on my phone. Uh, there they are. Let me get into the right bit on my phone. So for the size cover that we're doing, they were what they call six centimetre ones, which basically is, that's not all the way round, that's basically the diameter through is six centimetres. And this pattern will work with that. It's incredibly easy to adapt. So if you've got smaller or larger baubles, maybe you've got some old baubles there that you don't like the colour of, or they've maybe they had a pattern on and they've started breaking. You just want that strength to hold the basically the knitted cover, okay? So, hi Marion, how are you? Lovely. Hi Leslie, sorry, I don't know if I said hello to you, Leslie. Hi Leslie. Um, so yeah, and I would, you know, it doesn't matter if they're glass or plastic, but we're gonna cover them so it doesn't really matter what they look like, okay? Um, and like I said, use teeny tiny bits of wool, tiny, tiny scraps of wool that you've got left. 
you could even use smaller bits and do stripes and things you know um once you've done a couple you could play around these are all done in stocking stitch which is just you know knit pearl knit pearl but we'll go through that um but as i was doing them i was thinking oh you could start i could start putting stripes and patterns and all sorts of things into them but i've used it used variegated wools so like this one was actually done with this old ball that i found at the bottom of my knitting basket um, which kind of stripes itself, you know, so it doesn't really need much more than that. This one I just made up. I had some red and black there, and then I crocheted a little a little belt loop, so it kind of looked like a, a Father Christmas's belly. Um, these are great. Ah, oh, thanks, Eileen. So we're gonna. So I've done a couple. Of, I've done a step up so that we're not here for hours and hours. Mind you, saying that each one after I've done the first one, each little cover probably took me about 35 minutes 40 minutes at the most so they're definitely a your project that you can sit and do and in front of the tv okay um because it requires very little well it's not really a pattern there is a pattern but not really so we're gonna start with a slip knot okay because we're gonna do just sort of old-fashioned cast on it doesn't need to be a thumb method or anything and i i use circular needles for absolutely everything okay um, you can use straight knitting pins if you want to, if that's your preferred method. But I have to say, I use interchangeable circulars for, for almost everything now. It just feels nicer when I'm knitting. It's less strain on my hand. They, they don't like get stuck in my elbow if I'm using really big ones. They re work really well. Um, and I'm going to cast on seven stitches. So obviously my slip knot is my first one. Um, I'm going to, as if I'm going to knit, so in, round, and then put that stitch on to cast on. Am I in the right place? I am, I think. And I'm going to cast on. So when you're casting on the next one, I go between the two stitches. I don't do a knit stitch. It gives a slightly um, neater edge to the cast on. Okay, so that's three, four, five, and six. And then you're going to cast on seven. Okay. Keep your cast on quite nice and loose as well. All right, so cast on seven, and then basically we're good. We want to increase, so it's really, really quick increase, and then we're going to knit up, and then we're going to decrease really quickly. Okay, so it's it is nice and easy. Hi, Carolyn, how are you, lovely? So we're going to increase into every stitch all the way along. So a lot of you, I know, if you're knitters, I'm going to be teaching you to suck eggs. For those of you who may not knitted for a long time, I'm going to explain the stitches as I go. Okay. So an increase, so I'm going to insert my needle just as I would on the very first, you know, as a knit stitch and knit, okay, so round the needle and pull out, but instead of knocking off the stitch, I'm then going to work into the back of the stitch just there, okay, round and pull through. So I've made two stitches for my one, and you're going to increase into every stitch so that you've got 14 stitches on, okay. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> this is very difficult trying to do it at an angle right okay one two three four five six let's start that again six cast on seven there we go right so hang on i'm, I'm having to move myself forward in the seats because i'm i'm quite stretched <laughs> there we go so increase into every stitch so you end up with 14 stitches so knit into the front and the back of each stitch so in round pull through in the back of the stitch round pull through and you're doing that in every stitch you could if you wanted to if you're relatively new to knitting you could do these all in garter stitch you don't have to purl at all they look really nice in fact i might do a couple all in garter stitch there we go so in the last one in round pull through and then don't pull the stitch off into the back of the stitch round pull through okay so I've now got 14 on my needle and then I'm going to go turn the work and then I'm going to purl all the way across. So you don't not going to do any increase on the purl stitches at, on the purl rows. All the increases are done on the knit rows. So with the purl, I'm going to make sure my knit wool's, that wool's to the front. Okay, it's time. So my wool is to the front instead of the back. I'm going to insert up at an angle like that. I'm going to knit wrap anti-clockwise pick up that stitch and then push off okay so in 
Wrap it anti-clockwise, pick up the stitch and push off. So, I'm going to assume that most of you have at least done a knit stitch, okay? If you haven't done, look at, uh, looks like something I did years ago. You knitted two different size spheres in white, then joined them together to make a snowman. Are you added scarves and hats? Oh, cute. Yes, that would be a really cute idea. So a lot of the sort of like little patterns and all that I saw were um, you stuffed them with toy stuffing, but they weren't round enough. Uh, and then I saw, um, found this little pattern, well, about four or five different patterns that was like, oh, you do it round a ball ball and it keeps it nice and spherical. So I've knitted, uh, purled all 14. Okay, got to the end and turned. And we're going to do exactly the same as row one, which is increase into every one of those 14. So I'm going to end up with 28 stitches. So fit into the front and into the back all the way along. Here we go, that's two for one. So I'm increasing into every stitch because we want a really sharp increase. There we go. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you could, I suppose, um, do two of these and not put them round the ball balls. You could, you could stuff them and make little snowmen. That would be quite cute. Um, but like I said, once you've done one of these, it was really, really quick. Um, you know, I did like three sat just in front of the TV watching Walking Dead again the other day. Um, I think it takes longer to sew them on than it does to knit them almost. <laughs> Uh, it's unraveling the wool. So I'm increasing into every stitch. Yeah, just you know, fast forward a little bit if uh, if you're so knitting along with me, okay? Because I can't do that live, obviously. So you've got to wait for me to get to the end. <laughs> but I should now have 28 stitches on. Okay, like that. And now I'm gonna turn my work and I'm gonna pull back. Okay, so again, there's no increase on the purl row, you just purl in. This is really difficult to do at an angle. I'm used to like having it, you know, right up close to my body and I'm having to <laughs> try and do this at an angle. I am love I do love these knit pro needles though. There we go. Nearly caught two stitches there. They're incredibly smooth to knit with, which is nice. I tried some um, bamboo needles again the other day. I've got some bamboo interchangeable um, ends, um, and I just didn't, I didn't like them. They don't suit me. They don't suit my style of knitting. Oh, I didn't say actually when we started. So these can be done in any any yarn at all. So I would um, maybe not chunky. Um, you would need to quite drastically reduce them for ch chunky, but um, for four ply or you know like sock yarn or double knit, I um, I would just go down one size of needle because you want it to be quite close. So normally this is a double knit that I'm using at, at the moment. This I would knit on a four mil, but I've gone down to a three and a half mil needle because um, you want quite a close um, what's the word close texture on them. Right, okay, so that was my first two rows of increase and two rows of pearls, okay? So row number five, you're gonna, the next couple of increase rows, you're gonna do a little bit um, slower on the increase, okay? Uh, what's that, Natalie? Your mum, uh, auntie, all attempted to teach me to knit and they all gave up. It's been decided I'm not a knit type of person, but still learning to crochet, amazing. And you're attempting to make a blanket. That's so cool. Well done for your persevering with your crochet, Natalie. So this time we're going to do a, a slightly different increase. So what we're going to do is we're going to knit two stitches. So one, two, and then you're going to increase in just the third. So into the front and the back, and you're going to repeat that all the way along. So knit one, knit two, and then increase into the third. Knit one, knit two. Oh, the yarn's just changing colour. <laughs> Increase into the third, knit one, knit two, and then into the increase into the third, and you're going to do that all the way along the row. Okay, so, so you're going to have to talk to me a little bit, okay, while you watch me uh, poo on this. <laughs> one, 
two, and then increase into the third. Not a particularly fast knitter either. I, I quite enjoy it. Um, I've been watching a lot of um, videos recently on YouTube where they do like a European where you hold the yarn in this hand and oh it's so clever I really wish I could do it but I can't get the hang of it to be honest I should should persevere even more shouldn't I to increase into the third okay and then you've got one stitch left you just knit that one off okay like that I'm gonna flip it and we're gonna pull all the way across Maybe you should persevere again, Natalie. You've, you've persevered with your crochet. Maybe try with the knitting as well. So there's a few ladies that want to learn to crochet that are coming on the retreat. So I have promised that at some point on the, uh, on the first retreat, I'm gonna do a little, uh, a little le learn to crochet uh, session. But for those of you who were talking about it a couple of weeks ago, who'd like to learn to crochet, I am gonna do a couple of um, extra sessions, maybe in the evenings. Um, maybe on a Tuesday evening or something. We'll still keep to the the one o'clock normal one for everybody. But for those of you who um, I might do it on the gigglers actually. I might go live on the gigglers for those of you who want to join me. We we're going to go right back to basics with um, crochet and just learn the basic stitches and get people going on it. Okay, because I know there's a few of you that have asked about it, um, but. To be honest, but it's been so so crazy busy the last couple of few weeks. I haven't had a chance to get them planned in, but I will. Let me get the retreat over it over with over the next uh, six days, and then just before Christmas, you know, over the weeks up running up to Christmas, I'll do a couple of extra little sessions where we do some intro to crochet. Um, Cheryl, if you're watching, my lovely, well done on your ear warmer. Um, I'm very glad that you managed to give it a go and actually make one. It's very, very cool. Okay, so I've just pulled all the way along. And can you see how that, you can see that was cast on here. And then, oh, oh, why is it doing that silly thing? Hang on. I've frozen, haven't I? Oh, it's doing that silly flashy thing. I don't know why. Um, I think I might need to buy a new webcam for this one. Is it totally frozen? Have I totally frozen now? Hang on. Sorry, guys. I think it's completely frozen, the overhead. Let me just... It's going to go black for a minute on that one. Uh, have you got enough to do with an evening? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. I'm going to have to try and um, reactivate that. Okay, so it's going to go black and, and everything, but give me a second. Okay, so let me try deactivate and then activate... Oh, why is it doing the silly flashy thing? What's it not liking? Okay. Right. I think I might be back, lovelies. No. Oh, come on. Activate. Come on. Right. Okay. I think it's back. I think I've got it. I think I got it. <laughs> Brilliant. There we go. I'm back. Uh, haven't I got enough to do with an even? <laughs> I have a little bit, love, but... We are getting a little bit, you know, it's coming through to the dark evenings. It fills away during the week. You know, we could do maybe just, you know, a little session, like a two o'clock session or something. Oh, right, okay, it's gone a bit wonky now. I think I think we're about there. So this next increase row is exactly the same again. So we're going to knit two, one, two, and you're going to increase into the third again. So in to the front and the back like that. And then knit two, and into the front, and into the back, knit one, knit two, front, I'm trying to make sure that it's not freezing, so I'm trying to keep an eye on the comments, one, two, knit front and back, one, <coughs> oh excuse me, two, and then make one, Nearly there, one, two, front and back, like that, and then one, two, nearly to the end. This is like the longest row, <laughs> because this is the end of the, the increases, this row. And you can see how quick these are. One, two, front and back, one, 
to hi Lynn, how are you lovely hope you're well here's the front and back in that stitch and then one two three to the end of the row Ooh. here's the front and back and then one two and then we're going to increase one last time like Ooh. looking at all fingers and thumbs now like that and then knit that last stitch okay and what you're going to do now once you've done that that's all the increase in okay so you can see it's gone it's gone out really really quickly which is what you want to get that spherical shape is you're going to just stock in stitch so, so what i mean by that is you're going to do one row of purl one row of knit one row of purl one row of knit you're going to do 11 rows so i'm not going to do all of these i have got a step up for this so but i would just purl this one so your purl rows are odd, it's like 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. You're going to end with a purl row, and then you're going to do knit 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay, so let's just get to the end here. There we go. Okay, so 11 rows in total, okay, off stocking stitch after you've done your increases. Now this is a bit where if you've got, if you've got smaller or larger baubles, you could do, if you've got smaller baubles, you could do less increases. If you've got larger baubles, you could do another row of that knit to increase one all the way along. And then you could do a, a couple more rows of stocking stitch if you needed to. You would have to sort of play around with it a little bit, depending on what size bauble you were using. Um, but the six centimetre ones are the pretty, you know, pretty standard size bauble that are, you know, are everywhere. And like I said, I got 12 in... B and M for £1.29, you know, and I'm making them all pretty and unique by covering them. So nearly there. So I just get to the end of this row and then I'll grab the step up so I'm not stopping in the middle of the row. You could, you know, if you if you are a knitter and you do like fair hour work, you could do all sorts of beautiful, you know, sort of patterns and all on these, couldn't you? Um, I think they look really, they would look really cute just all in garter stitch, so all in knit, you know, just knit every row. Um, you could absolutely stripe them, do a couple, you know, like two rows or four rows of each of your colours if you've got lots and lots of tiny little bits left. If you did maybe the coronation blanket um, or something like that, or one of the crochet alongs, and you've got little bits of yarn left, if you're doing craft fairs or anything, these I think are a really nice, easy little make as well. So I that's my first row. I do eleven. So I'd knit this row, purl the next, keep going, stocking stitch for eleven rows. Okay, so I'm just going to put that one out of the way because that's what I've done here. Okay, so this I've actually got a pair of socks in this. This is beautiful sock yarn, but it's not enough. What that was what was left in the ball, and it's not really enough to do anything with. It's only about thirty grams left. So there's not for it really much you can do. So I thought I'd make some more baubles. So I've done exactly what I've done there and I've done that stocking stitch for 11 rows, okay? And I've ended with a purl row. Basically, all you're gonna do now is you're gonna decrease in exactly the same way as you increase. Oh, hang on. Get me needles in the middle there. Get that one out of the way. There we go. So, shove this back onto here. And slide those on like that. So my decrease to get the other side of the sphere is pretty much the same, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna knit two, one, two, and then you're gonna decrease, okay? Now there's two different ways you could decrease. I, uh, little socks for your future grants, uh, for a favorite grandson. Oh, I don't think I could get socks for his, because he's a little chunker with 30 grams love. You know, I had 100 grams and it took, it took about 70 grams for socks for me, so. I don't think I could, I just don't even think there's enough for that. <laughs> uh, fair are not that experienced are just some, you know, some variegated wools there. So, sorry, decreases, you can just knit two together. So not into, don't knit into the first one, knit into the second one and catch both strands like that. So I'm knitting two stitches together, okay? And then one, two, and then knit two together like that. And then knit one, knit two and then two together so make sure i'm catching both strands wool round push off so you can do that and what i'll do is i'll do that on this row and then i'll show you the other way you can decrease which 
either way works perfectly fine. Particularly um, this one, knit two together, tends to slant that way, the stitch. The next one tends to slant that way. So it's a nice way if you are, I'm knitting um, slipper socks at the moment. Um, if you want the decreases to almost pattern, um, you can absolutely use both methods. Okay, so one, two, you're gonna have to put up with me doing this because we need this one to actually sew it on. So you're gonna have to wait till I get to the end with this one. <laughs> so talk to me ladies while I'm, uh, anybody got anything interesting to tell me? Anybody done anything interesting? Who is a knitter? Who's got a project on the go at the moment? Or are you all crocheters? What are you up to? Um, is it something you haven't picked up for a while? Which is definitely for me, it's something I haven't picked up for a while, but I just really enjoy the knitting at the moment. I'm finding it's very, it's, it's a prover, it's proven to lower your blood pressure. Did you know that? One, two, and then you, you're going to have one on the end to, uh, which I haven't on this one because I managed to lose the stitch. Um, but you would have one on the end which you would knit exactly the same with the uh, uh, with the increase, okay? And then we've got to pull back, so you've got to put up with me while I pull. Um, yeah, knitting's been um, proven to actually lower your blood pressure. It's um, and a de-stressor because it's a, what's the word? Um, because of the like rhythmical nature of it and how... Oh, there we go, sorry. Swapping between needles as well. I know that sounds silly, but the Knit Pro ones, which I love. So these are just the Nova Metal ones, which are super slidey, which is not a bad thing with knitting. Um, they just move against each other really, really nicely. Um, we do sell them in, in the shop and the cables as well. Um, where the other ones are slightly, uh, they're Knit Pro ones, um, and they're very, they're still very shiny, but they're slightly stickier not sticky as in ugh, sticky um they're slight they're still smooth but they've got a like a sateen finish to them and they actually give you a little bit more control i think than the super smooth ones of these um lynn you used to uh eileen you're gonna knit a cable jumper for your daughter lovely oh i love cable i haven't done cable work for years lynn used to knit uh, and then machine knitting oh my mum used to have a uh, knitting machine we've got photos of me and my sisters all in bright orange jumpers with navy caps on the front, matching jumpers, all of us. Um, uh, if your blood pressure got any lower, you wouldn't be able to stand up. Eileen, I'm having the same problem. Kids have very low blood pressure and I'm getting very dizzy and very passy out recently because my blood pressure is stupid low. Um, you know, which when you think I'm stressed out at the minute, it shouldn't happen, but I, 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 I feel your pain, lovely. Uh, Linda, you've just started Teddy One Eye, a new jumper. Usually do one for Christmas. Ah, lush. Marion, you've knitted dolls clothes. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, I haven't got the patience for dolls clothes, but I haven't, mind you, I haven't had any daughters or granddaughters yet to do them for. So, um, although I could knit Little Man's Pooh Bear a jumper, couldn't I? He might like that. So the next row is back to a knit row. So we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to do a decrease again. So we're going to knit two, one two um, and then either knit two together or you can do this decrease if you prefer so you're going to slip the first stitch you're going to knit into the second one and then you're going to pass the slip stitch over which sometimes on knitting patterns is written in well, always on knitting patterns is written as pSSO pass slip stitch over so that means I'm just going to grab the slip stitch and pass it over so you can do that decrease if you prefer so knit one knit two slip one, knit one, pass slip stitch over, okay? Either decrease works, whatever is your preferred method, okay? So I'm just going to stick to this one for now, just for this row, pass slip stitch over. I find the slip, uh, this method slightly slower because I've got to find that slip stitch. One, I'm really, I'm really, really going to have to start wearing my reading glasses more often particularly if I'm needing to find stitches. I'll slip stitch over. <coughs> uh, what am I knitting? Oh, we're making Christmas baubles, Marion. We're doing knitted Christmas baubles. Um, I'll show you in a moment, lovely. So if you, uh, when we finished, if you go back to the beginning, um, 
it's a really easy little pattern. There isn't a written pattern for it because you really don't need one. It's um, you can just follow along with me. One. <coughs> oh, sorry guys, I got tickle all of a sudden. Knit one, slip stitch over. Knit two, one, two, slip one, knit one. Now slip stitch over nearly at the end. They get faster as you obviously as you're decreasing because there's less stitches. <laughs> slip one, knit one. <coughs> oh dearie me. Crochet for me you most of the time. Yeah, I I'm I think I prefer crochet normally. I've got to purl the next row. Okay, so we're just purling back on this row. I think I prefer crochet because it's faster, but I think I've been in, I love knitting socks. I do knit socks. Um, if I do knit, that tends to be what I, what I do. I think it's because, you know, I haven't got the patience for a jumper. I wish I did. Um, but I think I've enjoyed doing these because they're little and they're fast. Um, you know, and I can get it finished. <laughs> huh. I'm gonna go, I'm just getting to the end with the pearl. And then the next, two knit rows are going to be really you know really strong decreases we're going to decrease into every row uh, every stitch so it goes down really quickly there we go and it should be 28 stitch 28 on this one now yeah 20 uh yeah 28 couldn't remember the pattern then for a second uh i want your sock pattern eileen yeah absolutely lovely i'll um I will, um, I'll print your copy out and bring it with me to the retreat. It's uh, one I bought off Ravelry. There's two that I use all the time. One is just called Vanilla Latte. The other one is called the Hermione Socks. Um, and there's another one that is, um, they're both free patterns on Ravelry. But I will, I'll print them out for you, lovely, and bring a pair of socks in the wool you're using would be great. I've done, this is what I'm, I've used, this was sock yarn. Um, I've made myself socks in these. Um, this was what was left from the yarn. Um, this knit row is just decreasing to uh, decrease every stitch. So I'm going to go back to knitting two together. So I'm going to knit two together all the way along. So one, two, knit those two together. There we go. Like that. Um, they, yeah, they were, it was a pair of socks. It's what's left over. That's the joy of these little baubles is that, um, you know, it's, it uses up all those random little bits of wool that I didn't want to throw it away. It feels really good. I didn't know, you know, it's not really enough there to do anything with. So I couldn't, I couldn't throw away. It's too pretty, <laughs> far too pretty. So knitted baubles it is right to the end like that. Right to the end of that one. Oh, I split it, damn it. Excuse me guys, there we go, there it is there. One last pearl row, one last knit row and we're done. Nearly there. <coughs> um, I like, I always do um, uh, toe, no not toe down, toe up. So I start at the cuff and work towards the toe I mean with socks. I tried toe up where you start at the toe and go the other way. And I just, I, I don't find it as, I don't find it as easy. Um, I think I know the patterns that I use so well that I tend to just stick to, to those and it messes with my head a little bit. I love Magic Loop socks as well. Um, there we go. Right, so very last row is we're just going to again decrease into everyone because we're bringing that sharp, sharp decrease in. So knit two there together all the way along, knit two together. It's nearly done. But honestly, if I wasn't yabbering, I think I got it down to about 35 minutes to do one. And that was what, you know, watching TV, not being particularly, you know, concentrating on it. Right, so we're back down to my seven stitches, okay? So you're going to cut yourself a nice long tail, like that. You see, I've hardly touched that ball. I could probably get about 10 or 20 baubles out of that little tiny bit. <laughs> Uh, you've never knitted socks. Is it easy? How many needles use? I do magic loop method, Marianne, which is basically on a cable like this. Two two needles and a cable. Um, if you go, sorry, excuse me, I just need to blow my nose. 
Um, so, oh, they would look nice in the shop window. Oh, maybe, maybe I'll do some, put these in the shop window, love. Um, if you go back onto our YouTube, Marion, I did a whole tutorial on Magic Loop for socks. It's definitely on there. So all you're going to do is just, I've threaded up a, you know, a bodkin and I'm just pulling off the knee, uh, off the stitches, off the needle to thread, thread the end through, thread the tail through. <coughs> There we go, through like that, okay? I mean, Lindy Lou, if you fancy making some, pull up tight, okay? Pull that up really nice and tight, and then fold it over so I've got the right sides together, and we're going to stitch up not quite halfway. You need to leave yourself a big gap to turn through and push the bauble into. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to over sew, so I'm going to go through that stitch there like that, you could mattress stitch this if you want, but nobody can see this little bit. It's going to be on the inside, so I just over sew on these. I'm just picking up corresponding stitches, one one side, one the other like that, and over sewing. Okay, on that side, on that side, over sew. There we go. Come on, on that side, and on that side, over sew. Right, uh, I could do just a couple, couple more. I want to go to about there. I need to leave. You want it, you know, you want it to be quite a, a nice fit, a tight fit on this. I just think a whole tree, all with just knitted baubles, would be so cute. Knitted baubles and lights. <laughs> um, bodkin. You haven't heard that word for years. Oh, oh yeah. Some people call them a wool needle. I think that's what. Yeah, I think so my grand used to call it as a bodkin, so it's in, in my head, that one. <laughs> um, but Marion, yeah, knit, uh, socks, I love socks. They're, they're one of my favourites. So I'm going to turn it right sides out. Okay. I'm going to grab a bauble. Now, I found it easier to take, if you can, take the top off. Okay, so pull that one out. There we go. So it's just one of the, I mean, you can see they're really cheapy, cheapy ones. You know, they don't have to be expensive. And then we're going to, Push this over the bauble like that. Now, you can't when I when I bought these, I uh, you can't quite they can't they don't quite fit round the top, okay? Because these are a wide one. If I buy more, which I'm going to, I'll buy the ones that've got little tiny narrow top, okay? But it really it doesn't make any difference when you when you start stitching it on. It really really doesn't matter. Okay, and then I'm going to mattress stitch. So this is going to be, this is quite difficult to do away from myself. So I'm going to come in that side like that. You know, this is just like, you know, if you're sewing up um, any, you know, any actual sewing, you know, mattress stitch like that, pull up. So one that side, one that side. There we go, like that, and pull through. And then go from the same side there. Oh, there goes my washing machine. Sorry, guys. That side there. Pull through. Hang on. I might have to do this towards me a second. <laughs> and on that side. And basically, we're just we're just sewing it now round the bauble. Oops, I need that side. And I'm doing quite galloping stitches as well, guys. I'll go a little bit, you know, neater than this for me when you're doing yours. My other ones were a bit, a little bit neater, but this is because I'm trying to do it on camera. Maybe a, maybe it's a Scottish word. It might be actually, yeah, it might be. But yeah, bodkin. It's anything that's a root got a really chunky, you know, like a wool needle. There we go. In that side, in that side, and as I'm getting up towards the top. I'm kind of pulling it a little bit tighter just to really get a nice neat finish nearly up to the up to the join as such there we go and then last one there to come on there and get that really nice and tight up at the top okay so i've got a really nice can you see a really nice tight finish that's the thing go over again just to secure that off like that, pull it in tight, and then you can just bury your end. So I'm just 
literally just weaving that in and out a little bit. Oh, I would do if I hadn't come undone. <laughs> There we go. Leave that end in that way, like that. Slip it off. <coughs> and then that's the t that's the cast on tail. So again, just thread up. And we're gonna weave that one in as well. Just get rid of it. It doesn't have to be overly neat. You're not gonna see this bit around the top. I'm going to put the cap back on like that, okay, and then I'm going to put my cap back, cap and my bauble back on. I did see something. Ow! Oh, I made myself bleed. That was silly. <laughs> oh, that didn't have hurt. That's stuck in me. Right, be careful when you're doing this bit. <laughs> right, pinch it. Tuck it back in. There we go. Got it. <laughs> and there we go. Top's back on. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> oh, I got that bit caught. Oh, no. I'm going to use the... Oh, there we go. Got it. <laughs> and there's my little bauble, my little, little knitted bauble. Okay. So if you can see, it's nice. You've got a bit of manoeuvrability, but it's a nice tight fit on there. Um, and it's. I've hardly touched this ball. You know, I could probably... Genuinely, I think I'd get another 10 or 11 out of this little bit that's left. Um, so yeah, that's that's it, my darlings. I really like, I'm very about, you know, using up bits and pieces. I did see, um, you can buy clear, like transparent baubles. Um, you know, that you can buy glass ones or plastic ones, but these are completely transparent. I did see on, I think on Pinterest, somebody put all their little tiny bits like this in there it looked really pretty. It was all like, you know, just all the tiny scraps of wool from all their knitting projects. They shoved them inside and it was just a riot of colour in there. It was very cool. Very, very cute. So that's it, my lovely. So you can see I've done different, different colours used up. I've got socks in that one, which is that beautiful blue. I've got, that's the end of a pair of socks. There's still lots. I've now got two in that one. <laughs> that was a little tiny little bit. I don't know, a little variegated bit that I had somewhere. Um, that was the one that we started with. Again, a little bit of variegated. And then my little Santa, this one, was literally, I I did uh, my increase, actually, let me come back over here a second. I did my increase, so this was, um, this was my starting edge. I did the increase, I think I did four rows of red, and then I did three or four, one, two, three rows of black, and then finished off in the red to make that little Santa belly, and then just crocheted a little chain and sewed it on. But you could make Christmas puddings. You know, I'm sure you could do, you know, if you did them in brown and then maybe all, did all brown and then, you know, you'd have to start with white, wouldn't you? White and then go to brown. And then you could do like a little piece of holly or something on it. You could do snowmen, like Caroline said. You could do little snowmen and stuff. You know, or, or just stripes. You know, just use those tiny, tiny little bits of wool up and do stripes, random stripes. I think would look really, really pretty. So that's it, my loves. Little knitted baubles. It's quite hard to do a knitted project on, on here because we've got such a small amount of time and you've got to you've got to wait for me to finish a row and stuff i'd have to have about 20 step ups otherwise so but we'll try i'll try and do a little bit more with knitting with some with some different little bits and pieces okay so um so yeah that's it my lovelies um our sarah will be here tomorrow i promise she'll do the challenge post it's all ready to go i just forgot to pick it up she'll be here and do the challenge post and she's doing a origami star i think it is i can't remember now um, and then I will see the rest of you at the retreat and there won't be a, any one o'clock to Tuesday, Wednesday next week because we'll still be away at the retreat. Uh, there will be something on Thursday. It might be Thursday daytime, it might be Thursday night. I don't know yet. I've got to talk to Sarah. So, um, so yeah, that's it my darlings. Um, take care, have a lush weekend and I will see you real soon. Uh, bye Claire, see you Friday. Yes, indeed, see you Friday. Yeah, lots of the ladies on here. I'm going to see you on Friday. So take care, my darlings. Bye.